Mate, it is so warm next to this. Woo! What is going on guys? Welcome back to my videos. It's so good to record a video now that we're in 2018. I hope you had an awesome new year. And this video is pretty much just going to be going through some of the things that I want to grab out of my 2018. Like, I, I don't usually do New Year's resolutions because I'm usually pretty good at starting stuff like when I want to anyway. So I don't usually wait till New Year. But I figured for this video, I'll do it anyway. And of course, it sets some goals that I can look back in the future and be like... I did that stuff. I've got a list in front of me, and so let's just start off with the first one. I've got this YouTube channel, obviously you guys are watching this video on this YouTube channel, and I've been like uploading once a month, and that's just really not what I want to be doing. I want to be uploading once a week at least. So in my 2018, I want to try and break that barrier and actually do a routine of having YouTube videos uploaded to this channel once a week, because I really, really just love to create videos and stuff. So. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so another goal for 2018 is to move to London and find a job. Well, probably I would prefer to find a job first, then move to London. And if you remember in one of my previous videos, I actually mentioned that I would love to live in London. It'd be like a dream come true. London or New York? It's one of the two. One of the best things about London is like, it has so much character. Like, if I could live here, I would. Like, that is the absolute dream to you, to live in New York or to live in London. There's so much going on all the time. Now, as some of you might know, one of my really good friends called Joe, he was in one of my previous videos on this channel. I'm actually planning to move to London with him later this year, like in about six or seven months or something. I don't really want to get a job just for the sake of it. I want to get a job in something I'm passionate about, like videography or just filmmaking or something along those lines in the film industry. I think that would be really awesome. Also, I think it just opens up like a hell of a lot more possibilities in terms of videos and just making more creative content. So. Yeah, I would really, really love to move to London in 2018 successfully without having any problems. I hope I didn't just jinx myself then. So next on my list is to hit 100,000 subscribers on my other YouTube channel. Now, for any of you guys who don't know, I actually have like a different YouTube channel which focuses on like comic book reviews and movie reviews and stuff like that. And that is currently on 80,000 subscribers. I think like two or three months ago, I was on 50,000 and... Over the course of those months, it's got to 80,000. So I feel like it's a pretty reachable goal to hit 100,000, but you never know. So right now, that's like a solid milestone. I want to get to 100,000 subscribers. I feel like that is an achievement that is almost like a life goal. You know, like if you go through life and then in about 20 years, I can turn around and say, I actually hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube or maybe in 20 years, I'll be on like a million or something. I don't know because obviously... YouTube is becoming like the main platform for entertainment and everything so more and more people are joining it every day and Maybe a million subscribers is a lot more reachable than it used to be And also if you want to check out my YouTube channel links in the description by all means go check it out So next up on the list is to maintain a solid fitness routine now for any of you guys that might know or might not know I'm actually into my fitness and like I like going to the gym and everything if you go back to like some of my older videos You'll actually see how skinny I was I'll probably put a picture up on the screen of how skinny I used to be uh, I was nine stone two I believe and then at my peak that I reached that when I was actually hammering the gym and Eating all the food like that was correct for me and everything like that. I actually made it to about 11 stone 6 So I went up over two stone either way. I did it in about eight months So that was really good. I was proper dedicated to it and it was easy But for some reason recently, I've just been really really busy and I've sort of been slacking a little bit And I'm trying to get back into that daily thing of eating and like going to the gym without even thinking about it and sort of just having it fall into my daily planner and that is what I'm going to do in my 2018. I've already started it. I mean, I've got to go to the gym straight after this video. So another goal for 2018 is to travel to New York or any other place like LA, something that's like quite interesting. New York has always been a place that I've actually really, really wanted to go. And one of the main things about it is like, I want to go there during Christmas time or New Year's Eve, like when it's about to become like 2019 or something like that. Even just the thought of going to LA and landing in LAX airport is like one of those really cool things where you're like, I've seen this on all these YouTube videos. Yeah, I just want to do stuff like that, sort of make videos of me going to New York and like make cinematic videos in those places. Okay, so coming to the end of the list now and this one is something that I wanted to do for a while and it's actually learn a new language or skill. Now for any of you guys that don't know, I actually took French as a GCSE back in high school, like 
five or six years ago now. I vaguely remember my French. Like, I am actually quite fluent in some of it. Let's just be honest, I only know how to say my name and where I live, basically. Oh my god, the fire is going out, right. But yeah, ideally, I would love to learn a language and sort of devote, like, most of my time to it and actually learn it off my own back without actually having to be made to sit in a classroom and that would be also fun. But I think something alongside that is also I want to learn how to, like, give first aid, you know, like, I want to learn how to revive someone if they actually die. I feel like that's an extremely important life skill. I don't want it to be one of those things where you keep holding it off and then when something actually does happen, you think, oh my God, I should have learned that. So I want to get that done as fast as possible like this year, mainly so that I can go through 2018 and the rest of my life knowing how to save someone if it ever happens. And then last but not least, I just want to expand on my filmmaking skills and my photography and sort of my Instagram account. Like, I don't know if you guys have followed me on Instagram or whether you've seen my Instagram before. The links are in the description. I've only just started trying to get, like, a little bit more of, like, more photographic shots because I definitely am capable of doing stuff like that and it's just because I don't have the time to go out and prioritize taking pictures for Instagram, if you get what I mean. So if I specifically go out and take pictures and I know what I'm getting, then I feel like I would actually be able to turn my Instagram into something that's quite satisfying to look at. I'm not a perfectionist because I think it's a little bit dangerous to be a perfectionist, but overall I would just love to take more shots that I can be happy to upload to Instagram. And of course, as for my filmmaking skills, I'm learning all the time, learning new skills. I've actually got a cinematic video of Manchester and it's basically something that I filmed over Christmas with the Christmas markets in Manchester. And it's gonna be like a Manchester video overall, just so that you guys can get a feel of what Manchester is about if you're not from here directly. So it's, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. And you will also, see Joe in that video as well, along with some of my other friends, so keep an eye out for that. Oh god, uh, I trained abs yesterday as well. I'm never gonna be able to get back up. The fire's going out, but let me know what you thought in the comments below and what your goals are for 2018. Has my goals inspired you to chase your goals? For example, I wanna move to London and get a job in London, and I am chasing that. So has my goal of doing that inspired you to maybe move to New York or move to that city that you really want to be part of? Let me know in the comments below and we can talk about it. And of course, it's just interesting to hear everybody's goals anyway. What the heck was that? I think I just pulled my back. <laughs> if you like me and you like these videos, remember, I'm going to be uploading every single week from now on. Like, I, I have to. That's literally the goal. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, I'll see you in my next video, which is next week. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.